Welcome back to the channel, everybody. And with me is Boba Fett right now. And we're going to take our final trek down the Endor run that was originally done by Professor Toy Box. And this is how it now looks. All right, the last time you saw me doing this thing, we had uh, some paths down. I think it was just two paths in particular. And after seeing Professor's actual build and seeing how he did things, I have tweaked it up a little bit. I did cut out the middle section. I did put down more tracks and paths and, and branches, and I sped everything up. Therefore, it is now a much different challenge than it was before. So in mine, when you leave the hangar bay here, it's going to launch everything into action. Instead of having the multiple stormtroopers that were out there, and then it was still pretty easy to hunt down the droids and take them out, I have cut it down to just the two troopers that were in that scene in the movie. And we sped it up a bit. It's, uh, I believe, 500 speed on the pads to give the droids a very fair chance at this thing. So let's see how it looks right now. <clears throat> Beg your pardon as we get ready to go after the professor and the toy box challenge. I get things started. Hop on the bike and away we go. So I have put down uh, tracks on pretty much either side now. We put an Ewok village in there. I thought that was a really cool effect. I used a lot more of the Ewok building uh, blocks as well so far as the uh, special plants. Put a few more obstacles in there to jump just to make it a little bit more entertaining. And there's our first, uh-oh. I was gonna say there's our first droid, which there was. You have no hope. That's one. Why did they try to resist? Very close to making it, my friend, very close. And again, with mine, you still have a mission to accomplish here at the end, even if you take out the droids. Man, Boba Fett sucks. Terrible aim for a bounty hunter, especially. Huh. Still got 50 seconds left. We're in pretty good shape there. Weapons performing as expected. Well, it helps when you have a jetpack, doesn't it? And then we took away that little issue I was having with the clock blocking the view of 
the terminal. So there you have it. So it doesn't block the view anymore. It disappears once you get to the terminal. I think we all had a lot of fun doing these things. Uh, I know I'm looking forward. I haven't had a chance to even start on the other two builds. And right now in my schedule, it might take me a minute. Plus I'm on doing some stuff of my own right here for the Mandalorian project I'm working on. And with my current job situation, uh, it is definitely gonna be a little longer before I can actually get things done the way I want to. And these are still in there just so I can zip back to the beginning and do it again if I want to. So all I gotta do now is boom, resets everything. And if I wanna play it again, all I gotta do is enter the hangar bear. And then we're off and running again, all over again. Is that all you have? Really? Now, technically, I could probably just fly down and chase him. But that wouldn't be the same. Whoopsie. Um, I think they have a fighting chance at this time. Oh, I'm screwed. How one mistake can change the outcome. Yeah, I got a feeling I'm not going to catch them in time on this one. Blind fire with a prayer. Boba yep. Fett never gives up. And that's what happens when they beat you, man. The machine, the machine. The plans got to the Imperials and off it goes. So now we've had a look at both success and failure, but I can't leave it off on that note. That will eliminate, or it should eliminate all enemies. We'll see. I can't see a thing in this helmet. Well, we got out too soon, which triggered at least one. You cannot escape me. See how big a lead that gave him. And with some of these paths that I created, especially as we get closer to the end here. It is very possible for the pro droid to make some funky moves. This is only a delay. Beat me again. Oh, we lost the replay. My bad. I should have reset the ship. Well, let's do this. Re 
resets that. Let them get on the path before we start shooting. That's more like it. Grab some sparks and off we go. Not good, not good, not good. Come on. Yeah, gummit, you can see him at the end. It is unforgiving right here. One mistake on the track and that's it. Yeah, get rid of those two uh, stormtroopers pretty quickly too. I forgot to take the other one out, okay. That's one other thing I'll probably tweak on this then is that it removes all AI. Which I thought it did to be honest with you. All right, takes care of those boys. Let's go. Here they come. And here's the old bike. That will do. Watch out, watch out. Uh, oh. Ooh. TK421, do you come? Here we go. Be on your guard. He said price on your head. There we go. There was never any doubt. Actually, there was a little bit of a doubt, so anyway, that is my version. Of Professor Toy Box time challenge for the indoor run. It's been a lot of fun with this one. Very simple, not a whole lot involved in the logic to it. So, between my videos that I've posted on this thing and his, uh, I, I think it'll be really simple for you guys to replicate this. And it's a blast. Pardon the pun. All right. In the meantime, I'm going to wrap things up here. 
and say thank you for checking things out and remind you that Disney Infinity is the game where the only limitation is your imagination. We'll be back once again with some more under construction. Again, current schedule being what it is, I'm not sure. It won't be like COVID days where I could just go and do streams endlessly, that's for sure. So, but I'll be back with some more. We're still working on some Mandalorian stuff, so. Y'all take care, have a great day, and I'll see you real soon.